Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. This is the one minute chart of Bitcoin from Bitstamp on Bitcoin Wisdom. Now you can see here that we have Mt. Gox being dropped from this uh, reporting site. We got Bitstamp, BTCE, and the Chinese exchange. Very interesting thing to notice here, you can see the price at Bitstamp is 557. Price at BTCE is 550. The price in the Chinese exchange is 556. Very interesting. Notice that our arbitrage problem went away as soon as Mt. Gox went away. What does that indicate? Seems to be a very bullish thing that somehow arbitrage has started working between the exchanges. You can see also that we have a very strong rally going on here. So the mainstream media would have us believe the mainstream, mainstream, fake, owned, garbage, worthless, going bankrupt media. An example of that here, the front page of Yahoo Finance, which has been the lead story all day, Bitcoin exchange Mt. Gox goes dark in blow to virtual currency. So here is a mainstream, mainstream Mockingbird media site that hasn't covered Bitcoin except on the back pages for all of this time and decides to lead with the front story of Mt. Gox all day long on their site. I think you know what that means, people. Now we know you've seen probably the news today that CNN's market share is chopped in half and Anderson Cooper is going into the dustbin as well as uh, Piers Morgan getting fired. So it's pretty clear the market is voting on these paid liar media platforms but let's look at what is going on with Mt. Gox now I want to do a little overview here this is the Wikipedia entry on Mt. Gox and I want you to notice here that the problems actually started Back in the fall, Wired Magazine reported in November 2013 that customers were experiencing delays of weeks to months in withdrawing funds from their accounts. The article said that the company had effectively been frozen out of the U.S. banking system because of its regulatory problems. Customer complaints about long delays were mounting as of February 2014 with more than 3,300 posts in a thread about the topic on the Bitcoin Talk online forum. On the 7th of February 2014, all Bitcoin withdrawals were halted by Mt. Gox. Now, think about that. What does a Bitcoin withdrawal have to do with the FinCEN regulation and the money? It has absolutely nothing to do with it. So, that was a fairly clear indication that there was a problem with the amount of Bitcoins on the exchange not a problem with the regulatory hurdles that Mt. Gox was facing. So let's look at a story here. This is from Jeff Berwick, Dollar Vigilante, longtime supporter of Bitcoin. Mt. Gox is finished and Bitcoin is stronger than ever. And now we bear witness to Mt. Gox's death throes. It has stated it would temporarily prevent customers from move, removing their Bitcoins from its online Bitcoin exchange. Now it is the cheapest place in the world to buy the digital currency. As Max Kaiser has said, this can mean only one thing. Mt. Gox has no Bitcoins. Indeed, many believe Mt. Gox is about to go bankrupt. There are basically no buy orders on Mt. Gox, only sell orders. The sell orders are bets that it will be easier to retrieve U.S. dollars now than Bitcoins or U.S. dollars later. Bitcoin prices are a bargain at Mt. Gox only for those willing to take the bet that Mt. Gox will deliver. Roger Ver has, but he is swimming against supply demand. Investors at Mt. Gox are speaking to the tune 
of overwhelming sell orders for Gox, Mt. Gox is believed to be insolvent. On other exchanges, Bitcoin prices have only dragged down a bit, still well above their March-April 2013 prices. When new records were first set, it's not that there isn't confidence in Bitcoin, rather there's no confidence in Gox. Quote, I was advised that if I thought Gox was insolvent, it is better to have a fiat claim against them than a Bitcoin claim, which has no legal standing, says one Gox investor. Gox claims that it keeps most of its funds in offline coal wallets. This would mean, after recent Mt. Gox hacks, that most of the funds were still safe. Still, at the end of the monetary system as we know it, U.S. bankruptcy courts are likely to favor dollar liabilities over Bitcoin liabilities. So there you have it. Now let's look at Mt. Gox site because it's actually still up. This is what we have when we go to the site. Dear Mt. Gox customers, in light of recent news reports and the potential repercussions on Mt. Gox's operations and the market, a decision was taken to close all transactions for the time being in order to protect the site and our users. We will likely be closely monitoring the situation and react accordingly. Best regards, Mt. Gox team. So wouldn't you think, and we know the site is still up, because if you look at it, you can see ports 80 and 443 are still open. So this isn't just a, a message, and I want you to see on Clark Moody, we still have market depth depth information you can still pull it maybe this is a snapshot but you can see here around 40,000 bitcoins when we go out all the way to the market depth probably about at a hundred dollars maybe 10,000 I don't know roughly 30 or 40 million dollars of merchandise and asset we'll just say 40 million dollars worth of assets that we can see right here. Now, wouldn't you think that if you're talking about $40 million worth of assets, you'd at least have a link you could click on here for people who have account. I have an account at Mt. Gox. I drained everything I had on it long ago, used it back in 2011 to buy a few Bitcoins cheap and transfer them, I think, to another exchange. But wouldn't you think that Mt. Gox would have at least a link for people to click on to send them an email or something to log in and get an update or something at all no this is what we see so what's going to happen to Mt. Gox well I suspect that we're talking about a bankruptcy and that's considered by the mainstream media to be a disaster for Bitcoin actually it appears that it's probably going to be one of the best things in the world for Bitcoin we can see the buyers come rushing in now as some unknown arbitrage is really working its magic. You can see the lowest is 561 on the Chinese exchange and 570. We haven't seen arbitrage like this. I've never seen it. If you remember back in the day when we covered that, and here's a post that I had on on the blog this is when I first noticed it was in my opinion that something very fishy was going on at Mt. Gox you can see that's February 19th and that's when I noticed this anomalous trading pattern at Mt. Gox it was trading like a rigged market it appeared to me that what was going on at Mt. Gox was not true trading you don't see a floor like that in true trading so it it was my opinion at that time that someone was faking trades. These weren't real trades. I think in retrospect I was probably right. And after that we had the big dip down to that 91, a rally back up. And then it went back down. It was about to test those 90 prices and then they just shut the whole thing down. So in my opinion the mainstream media is going to end up with egg all over their face again 
it really does look like if we pull out here now bitstamp seems to be the leader that's very interesting because that's going to be the quickest US exchange uh, I, I'm sorry the the fastest exchange to get dollar buys onto BTCE we know that's in in Eastern Europe and we know that this one isn't in China so to get dollars on there to buy them it's going to be Bitstamp and we can see Bitstamp seems to be leading the pack if we pull out to the six hour chart we can see here a very very bullish bottoming formation in Bitcoin and let's go out to the daily here so we've now put in a very significant candle spike this candle spike here is a rival of this candle spike that we had you can see this candle spike ran from 386 all the way to a thousand dollars so we had nearly a tripling of the Bitcoin price in that move we've got another candle spike in here and you can see the volume coming in on that candle spike it's gonna be my projection that we're probably going to do a similar run right now from roughly where we are to at least a thousand and really if we do that threefold move we could actually go into new highs and go to 1500 as this arbitrage and everything else starts working as we've finally been relieved of the curse of Mount Gox now that we have empty Gox and we'll talk to you next time